Many people who have been to Israel have probably seen armed soldiers throughout the country. But don't get the impression that everyone here is armed. Israel actually has incredibly strict gun control laws. Today, we're gonna take a look at the steps required to legally and responsibly own a firearm in Israel. In Israel, despite the fact there is a mandatory military service, most civilians do not have a gun. There are 6.7 guns per 100 people. For contrast, in the US, there are 120 guns per 100 people. That being said, most of the civilian population has at least learned how to fire a gun as a result of the army. But that doesn't mean you can just go buy a gun. In Israel today, if someone wants a weapon, he has to appeal to ask for the license, and then he has to wait long, long, long time, and sometimes he got the license, sometimes he doesn't. In Israel, you need a permit from the public security ministry, and they aren't handed out easily. You need to be over 21 if you served in the army, or 27 if you didn't. You need to have a clean criminal record, have lived in Israel three years, speak basic Hebrew, have a medical doctor to evaluate your mental health, and after all this, you need to demonstrate you know how to safely operate a firearm. Even after getting a permit, civilians have to demonstrate on a regular basis that their gun knowledge and training is up to date. Shalom, my Yanim. Even after obtaining a permit, like for me, gun owners have a strict policies. They usually only allow to own one gun and they only permitted a lifetime supply of 50 bullets. Quite a contrast to the United States, no? But wait, there is more. If you own a gun, you must take regular exams every 18 months at a certified gun range like here, proving you can safely operate a gun. If you don't, your license will be revoked. Today, we're at Hollander Range in Kfar Saba and speaking with Itzik Chipot, head of the Israeli Legal Weapon Organization, about gun safety and the procedure in Israel. All of these restrictions are very important, but at the same time, you must find the balance because the reality in Israel is complicated and we must approve more citizens to carry weapons. That's why people can actually protect themselves and the people around them until the first responders arrived. Training is very important. We must know that every citizen is know how to control the gun responsible. In my opinion, we need to do it more. One of the most important things to owning a gun anywhere is accountability. And Israel's laws reflect that. If you are a gun owner and your weapon is stolen, you can actually serve jail time whether you are a civilian or even a soldier. Imagine how careful gun owners everywhere would be if they knew they'd go to jail for a stolen weapon. These policies help to prevent the misuse of legal obtained weapons. And by the way, how many crimes are committed using legal weapons in Israel? Actually, and not surprisingly, there is almost no crime using a private legal weapon in Israel. Almost every crime involved with a gun is using the illegal gun. Even when you have a gun, the procedure for legal use is strict. In order to fire a gun in Israel, the attacker needs three things. Ability to attack. Intent to attack. And some form of weapon. Even when firing a weapon, both security forces and civilians are expected to fire a warning shot and to shoot at the legs first. What we call it a policy of shoot to wound not to kill. In the United States, for contrast, the training is almost always a shoot-to-kill policy. Guns are an important tool, and a terrible situation can save many lives, but they should always be used responsibly. 